Among all the gaming franchises across all of history, there's probably none that are actually any good. Sega was designed by Sonic to put specific pressure on specific aliens for no specific reason. Newton's first law already implies that Genesis does what Nintendo. T Seriously. Green Greens introduces us to what most Sonic fags would end up looking like. Thick. Plus, if you get hit by a big guy, you don't instantly die, but rather, it would be extremely painful. If you're playing the way you're meant to be playing, you're holding right to win. The hilltop zone is now the Emerald Hill Zone, and qual 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 although it still takes 25 years to die, your lowest that you fast with is now the highest that you speed with, plus there's no black people. Which brings us to Sonic CD. After the first game, Sonic's team set to work developing longer cocks, but the team split up. Lead programmer Megatron, along with many other CDs, moved to a different dimension. Sure, we have this stupid jump sound, but that iconic synthesized Sega from earlier is now just so at this point in history, Sonic Team and Knuckles were originally torn up by Sega around the same time the US team split into two cartridges and Knuckles. Confused yet? And the classic complaint that it's all coming inside of you is mitigated by just killing yourself. Meanwhile, in the actual Knuckles and Knuckles game, which was rougher than the rest of them, you start with one of the few first levels that's a Mario level. Get it? There's a 9,000 year gap here where Sonic dies and is brought back with the Dragon Balls. And this is the moment where childhood fans should realize that Sonic Adventure fucking sucks. Whoa! If you were playing Big's Big Fishing Adventure 3, then you already experienced a better game. Born in Earl! SA2 starts us off with Seaman Escape. The game starts high with the spectacle of rolling around at the speed of sauce, but the rest of the game is a big meme, going from hard dicks to some thick penis. You see the team learning how to fuck bitches and building a fun game for once. But Sonic Heroes is hot garbage, which can mean only two things. Either I'm game, or everyone else is really game. That's why this video is cheating, because stigmatizing weird ass furries feels good, which is all fine by me. I still can't believe that I actually exist. And once again, after invading the lilac system, we're back to shooting niggas. I was gonna try and play the game, but Yuji Naka is a sociopath and killed me. Around the same time, a new team raw kicked split off and would make Sonic in the huge messy whale cock. And amidst all the confusion, Sega released a tech demo. This is a game that is not very great. The level begins, then suddenly we're loaded into a map, so fuck this. Sega began creating a game that's not a complete piece of shit. Sonic Unleashed is less about controlling Sonic than it is about holding forward and pressing X. So things are things- Except they're not. Unleashed's other half to its running sections are brawling sections, which is some of the most just below mediocre gameplay I've ever endured. It's slow. But in the middle of this half-baked potato, we have Sonic 2 Dimps Edition, and Sonic's supposed to get a job, not be sticking his finger in his friends. The lack of quality money shots is the saddest part, really. And Sonic Colors is just a 2D side-scrolling game. At this point in the book of Genesis, Sonic has become a hedgehog, and believe it or not, the story's a reboot of Sonic Spinball. Sus. Sonic Generations is a racing game, which retains almost the same gameplay from Sonic Dash, but the game is less of a game than it is a game, which means it's probably a game, so why did they have to make another game? Sonic 3D Color Galaxy Plus and Knuckles is shit. You build and maintain speed by holding down ZR, and that whole process is just so complicated, but hey, at least Sonic doesn't have blue arms. Sonic Boom is an awesome theme song. The thing about trying to play this game is that you can be doing anything else. It's the perfect storm. After a decade of failure, it does not matter if Sega releases the most impressive Sonic game in the world. Critics will always say Sonic was never good. Nice work, Sonic! Get a load of this. Get a load of this. No way. I can't believe this.